Hi guys, I thought I'd make this video only because um, I'm really against wastage and for things just ending up in landfill and being thrown away when they can be repaired. Um, what I'm doing today is a bit of a teardown and a look at how to repair the power amplifier board on board, uh, you know, for a POC Audio DSW Pro um, subwoofer. Now this might not be compatible with all of them, but nevertheless, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the DSW Pro uh, 408 inch um, subwoofer. It's programmable, um, usually comes with the proprietary uh, remote that you can change the phase and the different types of uh, settings, frequencies for the sub itself. Um, but a common fault for these um, subwoofers that if you read on the POKE forums is that when you put it on, uh, the blue indicator light around the, the blue LED around the POKE audio um, uh, sign in the front switches on and then after two or three seconds, it just goes off. You can put a feed through it and no sound comes out from the board at all. I picked this up fairly cheap with the same fault, thinking I might be able to recycle the part, but I thought I'll try my hand at uh, fixing it, uh, fixing the board internally. I've got absolutely no technical know-how, but uh, um, I'll, I'll tell you what I've done. I can't guarantee that this will work for yourselves, but uh, it's worth a try. So that's the plate amp board that you have at the back. It's a digital board um, and um, what you'll see is that the light comes on, LED indicator light comes on and then goes into standby mode. So it goes from green into orange, which is a standby mode. So we'll remove the amp board itself. You've got a couple of screws to remove. And um, once that's done, I'll show you the inside and I'll give you a, an idea of the parts that I found um, in order to replace on the board itself. So you'd need to have some kind of soldering skill or, or, or know-how. Um, mine is not the neatest job, but uh, it, it, it did the work for what it's worth. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to repair yours and get it working. I mean, these are fairly, you know, fairly decent subs like that. So when you remove the board itself, you can see you've got all these cables and wires connected. That cable there connects to the subwoofer on the inside, uh, which I hope you can see. So what I would suggest you do is, uh, firstly, just remove the two cables on the inside to the subwoofer might take a bit of prying so just be careful not to pull the board out and that disconnects fairly easily so remove that board then you've got two extra switches um, uh, or pieces right there and there um, you can just pull them out pull them out um, take a little bit there you go one and the second one and uh, just remember one's got a two pin and the other one's got a three pin so you can't really mix it and mess it up but that's essentially where it fits there and there. So once you've got the board out, it's as simple enough as to see exactly what's going on. Now, I had a look at the board that uh, of the subwoofer I had, and there were particular items or units that were clearly fried. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the pictures of, of the before, um, but I can point out the ones that were damaged on the board itself. So on this particular board, in this particular DSW Pro 400, uh, I'll point out the items that didn't look too healthy so if you identify the board itself this separate board I'm not quite sure what it is um, on the unit itself but that resistor there was fried in fact you can see the slight burn mark or the rust mark that resistor had leaked and some of its contents had come out and spoiled the board there these two resistors or capacitors in that side there of resistors rather also looked a bit uh, damaged and fried but uh, essentially what I did was um, left them um, uh, but I'll show you the replacement uh, boards there um, so I, I, I left those as it is they seem to be otherwise still working in good condition so like I said that resistor there or capacitor there was the one that I replaced because it, was, it had leaked I had a quick look around the board itself nothing else was going on but the other issue that I found were these three particular ones right here. So just a, a zoom out from there, we're looking at these these items here. So now, if you look closely, it was the brown capacitor there, the green one there, and the first resistor. You can see on the bottom there's some burnout or some rusting right at the bottom there, which uh, indicated and you and when I looked at it initially they, they seemed fried cracked and friable so what I did was tried my best to have a look on it thankfully I managed to make out the the, the writing on the uh, uh, items itself and I found replacement parts for them in order to remove this board itself 
um, you would need to take out those four screws one two three and four um, disconnect that cable there and disconnect these two cables there and that board would come off now bear in mind when you take it off you've got these sponge pads which are glued on to the top so what I did was I just did a sharp blade cut through the sponge there cut through the second sponge at um, the bottom might be able to make out um, in there right in there cut through it and the board perfectly came off then it gave me enough room to sort of you know solder uh, uh, melt the soldering and remove those pieces the easy way of doing it because you can't you know melt both ends of it at the same time is just to snip one end off so uh, melt the solder and pull it out and um, uh, it's a matter of just replacing the parts um, in the same direction let's make sure it's facing the right way so you've got the polarities and all that correctly um, good idea a tip would be to take a photo of how the original units were and then when you're replacing it you can put the um, uh, replacement parts in the same direction. Now, when I bought the replacement units, this green capacitor that I that I bought uh, ended up being a lot bigger than the original one, but uh, the resistance value and that was perfectly uh, the same. So I'll just give you the the readouts for the ones that I've replaced, um, so you'll have an idea of what to get when you're looking at your um, replacement parts. Okay, quick zoom in there, and then it'll give you an idea of what it is that I replaced it with. Okay, so like I said, that capacitor is the following. Radio aluminium electrolytic capacitor, 50 volt, 10 millimeters, 2.2 micro F, whatever that uh, unit is, is the value for that one there. The first little resistor down there, that's the first one next to the green, the big green one. So that first one there is the carbon film resistor. It's 1.5 kilo ohm, 20 and 0.25 W watt. Now I just happened to learn about how um, resistors are labeled. They la you know, they're, they're valued according to these stripes that you see. Each color of the stripe represents a different value which you can read on the board and it gives it the resistance value and so on. But I managed to thankfully see, despite it being burnt out and some rusting that on it, I could make out the colors on the on the rings and worked out the, the value of the resistance. You can't find the schematics boards of Poke Audio products. And no matter you know, how often you email customer services, they don't give it out to you. And it's such a shame to have to throw these away. Um, uh, let's talk about the second, the green one, is the Mylar polyester film capacitor, 220 NF. 100 volt and the brown one right there is the CBB capacitor and this is by you know trial and error I just looked around for capacitors resistors not knowing which one is which but came across the pictures and saw what it was and made up from the, uh, the the serial number on it so it's 100 NF 100 volt which is equivalent to 104 J I'm presuming it's joules and um, like I said, if you were to find that these two um, uh, resistors in your particular board are, was also gone, um, those work out to be the metal oxide film fixed resistor, 3000 ohm, 3 watt, plus minus 5%. So that's the list of items that you would uh, normally need to get. I bought these off eBay um, here in the UK. It came to a total of about £10. Um, I picked up the stuff fairly cheap, so I thought, why not? I, I, you know, I don't mind throwing away ten pound and see if it works. Anyway, managed to fit them in. Um, not the neatest of soldering. Um, the board's pretty old, so even that the flat uh, original film, the um, uh, connecting connectors were sort of lifting up. But I managed to just, you know, put uh, loop wires from one end to the other, uh, just following the tracks of where the soldering uh, goes, and to just make sure they were all solidly in, and. Um, I have to say I'm pleasantly pleased. The sub works perfectly fine, um, which is a, a an A plus because I'm I'm not the best at uh, these repairs. I have no electronics knowledge whatsoever. Um, but uh, there we go. It's it's a uh, it's a working subwoofer and uh, it's been saved from having to be thrown away. And I'm hoping it's going to give me uh, you know many years of good use. And even if it doesn't, if something else goes, I'm hoping to be able to identify just by seeing if anything is gone on the board and um, just finding an equivalent uh, to replace it. 
So I hope that's useful for you. Uh, and for those of you who are experiencing the same problem with the uh, um, sub cutting out or switching off in protection mode, it might very well be those particular items that are faulty or have gone on the board or might be other other versions or other uh, uh, parts on the board itself. Whatever it is, I think it's worth having a go. The smaller parts are fairly cheap to come by depending on which uh, resistor you're looking at. And um, hopefully it will... Uh, It'll, be, it'll do the trick and it'll be uh, something that will work for yourself. So thank you very much. Um, feel free to subscribe for my other videos. Um, appreciate any comments. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them if possible. Um, otherwise, feel free to leave comments and uh, thanks for watching.